Hey guys, uh, I've been asked for my uh, assistance in a situation where uh, somebody bought a new computer and their computer is not recognizing a new hard drive that they're trying to install into it. Um, so what I'm going to show you today is how to boot into your BIOS and um, basically turn on and turn off the different drives in your computer. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and shut down the computer. As soon as the computer is completely down, we're going to go ahead and power that device on. I'm doing this on a Dell Optiplex 760, an older computer from around 2009. I know because I have a number of these that I've been working on that to boot into the BIOS, I need to repeatedly hit F12 while my computer is powering on. This will be different depending on your device, but for this one, F12 gets you into your boot options. So from here, if we were just wanting to boot the device, we would have a few choices. We would have the hard drive, the first hard drive, the second hard drive. If you had a CD drive installed, that would be listed there as well. But what we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and hit System Setup. Once we're here, we're going to go over here to Drives. And now every BIOS is going to look a little bit different, but typically they're organized relatively the same. Um, so under Drives or some type of similar setting, you're going to have access to your drives. Now, on this particular computer, SATA 0, SATA 1 are both um, turned on, but SATA 2 and SATA 3 are not. Um, so, looking at a motherboard, you will see, um, let's see if I have one around here. Yeah, perfect. Looking at a motherboard, you will see, this one's, from, oh, yep, perfect. Let's see here. You can see that on there. SATA 0, SATA 1, SATA 2. So that's showing you the first one is 0. That's your boot drive. Then 1, then 2 in that order. So now you can look at your motherboard and you can see whether or not the drive or the SATA port that you're trying to plug into is turned on or not in comparison to what you have on your screen. Um, so say I was trying to plug a hard drive into SATA 2, I would, I would turn that one on, click Apply, click Exit. It's going to restart the computer. Now as the computer is restarting, because I don't have anything plugged into that drive, it's probably going to give me an error. Oh, I guess it's not going to give me an error message. Um, Sometimes if you turn on a drive that has nothing plugged into it, it'll warn you that, hey, there's nothing plugged into this drive you just turned on. Um, in this situation, it didn't. But there you have it. Now we're booted back up, and we would now have access to that drive. Guys, don't forget to like and share if you got something useful out of this video. And also, please check out my website, www.built.com. B-U-I-L-T, mypc.com. Thank you.